Hi, welcome along to another video with Mr Burns. We're going to look at the equation of a straight line. Now this is the third in a series of lessons. We're going to look at where this equation crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. Um, so example then, a straight line has equation y equals 2x minus 6. Now this 2 here represents the gradient and the minus 6 here so that represents negative 6 on your y-intercept okay so that takes a form y equals mx plus c right so we already know this is an equation it's a linear equation if you saw the previous video it's a straight line right the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so the question is, what are the coordinates of where it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis? Okay, so looking at the x-axis firstly. Okay, so there will be visual for a set of axes. We've got the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, what you should know, this being your number line, okay, horizontally, zero is here. Right, if you're looking at where a line crosses the x-axis, right, this isn't going any distance vertically, whether it be in the positive direction or the negative direction. So on the x-axis, your y values are always zero, right? So that would be one and zero, that would be two and zero, that would be three and zero, right? So it crosses, right, so solution for A, crosses the x-axis when y equals 0. Okay, so we've got this equation here, y equals 2x minus 6, and y is equal to 0, there is no distance, vertically positive or vertically negative, so this here is 0. Alright, and we know that we can write this round the other way. Okay, so 2x minus 6 equals 0 because the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Everything to the left is equal to everything to the right. So everything to the right is equal to everything to the left. Okay, now we've got a linear equation. Right, we've got an equation 2x minus 6 equals 0. So we can solve this for x. So we can change the side, change the operation, invert, invert that negative to a positive. So 2x is equal to 6. And invert the multiplying by 2 to the division of 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 2 3s are 6. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So 6 is equal to 6. So 2 3s are 6. Alright, so the question said the coordinates, so let's write down the coordinates so we don't forget 3 and 0. Okay, part B, very similar. Alright, so y axis, the y axis is here. Okay, and now we're going any distance horizontally, so this would be 0, 1, this would be 0, 2. This would be 0, negative 1. So there's the x value is 0 on the y-axis. Right, so it crosses the y-axis when x equals 0. Okay, so we had the equation 2x minus 6. And x is 0 this time, right? The left hand side is still equal to the right hand side. So y equals two zeros. So let's show that substitution step, very important. Two zeros, zero, minus six. So zero minus six is negative six. Okay, so the question is asking about the coordinate. X is equal to zero. And the intercept on the y is negative 6. 
Okay, so there are the coordinates where it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. You may want to look at this here and thinking about what we said about the straight line. Y equals mx plus c. The y-intercept is negative 6. When x is 0, the coordinate where it crosses the y-axis is 0, negative 6. So this should correspond, okay, provided you've got y there, right? And just to point this out, because we maybe haven't talked about this already, that this y corresponds to this y, and this x corresponds to this x here, okay? So you need to watch for later on in case that changes. Okay, guys. Thanks, then.